Hi guys, what's up? This is Manas Patnaik and today we'll be learning something regarding um, creation of isometric view of a circle. So in this uh, particular tutorial, you're going to learn to create an isometric view of a circle. And the circle that we have right now is having a radius of, uh, please let me check how much this radius is. And this is equal to 25 millimeters. Okay. All right. Initially, what we'll be doing is we are going to enclose this circle inside this so-called square. All right. Um, watch carefully and same stuff you can keep your adapters along this line and tighten the screw then you need to go upstairs until you reach here then draw a line and then you need to do the same stuff over here also now one thing that you should realize that this length over here should work out as 50 millimeters all right and this length over here should also work out as 50 millimeters you know very well because it's a square okay so whenever you enclose a circle it's it's got to be a square so what we'll be doing is we're going to create its isometric view, all right? Considering it is lying on the horizontal plane or considering that this particular thing or this particular circle over here is a top view. So if this is a top view, then its isometric view will be done on a horizontal plane. So let us initially draw a horizontal plane. And for that, what I'm going to do is I will draw a line first, okay, something like this, all right? And in this line, I'll draw a horizontal plane. So that particular horizontal plane will be 50 by 50 millimeters. Okay. So I'll select this point and I'll go 50 steps at an angle of 30 degrees. Okay. Same stuff in this direction also. 50 steps. Again at an angle of 30 degrees. All right. Now keep your drafters along this um, line. This is what we call the isometric axis. Um, tighten the screw and then go up ahead over here. Draw a line, same stuff has to be repeated here also. Tighten the screw, then move your drafters along this line, it should be absolutely parallel, and that's it. And in this, um, what do you call this? Uh, this is the isometric view of this square, in fact. And inside this, uh, what we'll be doing is we'll be inscribing this isometric circle. So, how can that be done? Okay, so the first thing that we've got to do is this we need to join with the center of this. Okay, so this corner we have chosen this corner and randomly <coughs> you can choose any corner for that matter and randomly you'll see that the opposite two sides have two midpoint. So this is the midpoint over here and this is also the midpoint over here. That's it. All right. Same thing has to be stuff. Same stuff has to be repeated for this corner also. So these are the two so called opposite sides and this side over here has this as the midpoint. Where is it exactly? Okay, this one has the midpoint. And for this corner, this again is an opposite side and it has a midpoint over here. All right. Okay. So the next stuff is um, to draw the isometric circle. So you have to make use of a compass or a rounder for that and uh, follow the steps and you'll be absolutely through with that. All right. So let me do this with the help of a dark pencil. You can do this with the help of an edge pencil. So what I'll be doing is um, watch carefully. I'll be taking this guy as the arc. Okay, and this much as the radius and then rotate this down in the anti-clockwise direction until I reach somewhere here. That's the arc. All right. Again, I'm going to use this method. Okay. Arc. Uh, let me do this again. Taking this guy as the center and this much, this much as the radius. Keep your, the other leg of your compass over here and then try to rotate this in the anti-clockwise sense okay until it reaches somewhere here so that's the arc all right now this portion is remaining and this portion is remaining all right and for that what we'll be doing is we'll be taking this guy as center okay this guy is the center and this much from this point to this point as the arc and we are going to rotate this anti-clockwise since until it reaches somewhere here all right Okay, same stuff for this also, arc, and this guy as the center, this much as the radius, let us try to rotate, rotate this in the anti-clockwise sense, where is the meeting point, yes, this much, this one, and that's it. So that's exactly how you create the isometric view of a circle on horizontal plane. Now we're going to try this uh, for a vertical plane also and for that I'll be doing a small construction. Watch this carefully. Uh, okay. And now what we'll be doing is we'll try to draw a line again at an angle of um, 
30 degrees again 50 mm long line okay so this should be a thinner line all right let me set this to normal mode and then you need to go upstairs 50 steps okay then again you need to go upstairs 50 steps so this is what you call a vertical plane i'm drawing right now i'm drawing a vertical plane okay and then back to a we back to this point okay now this is where we are going to create this what you call um the isometric view of a circle in vertical plane okay so this is the vertical plane that we have drawn right now all right so let's figure this out okay so you take any corner at random let us say that we are taking this corner all right so we'll try to see this these so called opposite corner uh, opposite now if this is the corner these are the two opposite sides and this is where you'll find the opposite sides center all right the same stuff has to be repeated once again and this is the opposite side and this one here is the center all right if this is the corner this one is the opposite side and this is a the center same stuff corner opposite side and center join them all right now take this guy as center and this from this point to this point keep the both keep both legs placed planted and then try to rotate this in the anti-clockwise sense until it reaches over here all right and this over here is what you call is some portion of your arc all right let's repeat this process let's keep it going from this point if this is your radius and try to rotate this until it reaches somewhere here okay that's your arc again repeat the same process center radius anti-clockwise rotation until it reaches this point that's it only if a small portion of a um, isometric circle is left and let's take this guy as the center this much as the radius let's rotate this and that's what you call the isometric view of a circle on a vertical plane all right <clears throat> so this was all about creating isometric views of circle uh, let me give you a one one more view for this um, it, it, it would be very nice to look at um, let me show you this okay I'm gonna bring this let me delete this all right that's it let me remove this line also so guys this over here is what you call the vertical plane okay so this is the isometric view of a circle on vertical plane and this is the isometric view of a circle in horizontal plane fine so guys that was all from my side and if you have any doubts or queries do write them down in the comment section below so this is Manas Patnak signing off take care have a nice day and keep drawing